Hey y'all, it's your girl JRB, and of course I'm back with another video. Today is the day, okay? I will be getting induced today. I'm so nervous, but I'm happy at the same time because I want to see my baby. So, yeah, y'all. Um, I already took a bath. I just got to brush my teeth and wash my face. But other than that, y'all yeah, gonna come along with me, but it's late and delivery, okay? Okay. Where'd you go? So I'm here, y'all. This is the door. Then, then it's a sink, and this is where she'll be in the bed. Oh, this is really cute. And then this is the bed, the couch, the chair, and then it's this TV, and then this, and then I think these are the machines with like the contractions and stuff. And then over here is the bathroom. This is really cute, y'all. This is really cute. So yes, y'all, we're gonna have her. So y'all, I am currently waiting right now. I am so nervous. I don't know why, but I'm so nervous. Um, I waited for my boyfriend to come back here and then my mama to get here. But other than that, y'all, oh my gosh, like it's a really nice room really comfy um i probably won't be recording on my phone after this up the quality change just because my boyfriend is recording for me and y'all hopefully he gets it right okay but yes y'all i'm so nervous but i'm excited at the same time because i'm ready to meet her um oh my gosh yes y'all it's just it's about that time about that time but i don't think she's gonna come today i think she's gonna come like probably tomorrow but i'm gonna keep y'all updated and keep y'all you know informed because little mama on the way she is <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Jedari, and of course I'm back. I know, I know, I've been gone for a long time. A month is a long time, y'all. I know, I know. I really wanted to get this video out for y'all, but that that vlog did not go as planned. Uh, my deli my delivery went really fast. It really did. I think I was in labor for twelve hours. That's it. Um, yeah, and I've been wanting to record, but honestly, y'all, my mental state was not there. I've been having to adjust. To being a mom, like, you know what I'm saying? It's been a lot. I don't see how some of these YouTubers just get on here after having a baby and, and like, they didn't just have a child. Like, no, mentally, it takes a toll on you. Like, especially if you're young, like, for real. Like, it takes a toll. So, I had to get my mental straight because that's important for me to be, you know, there for my child. But it's it's not all the way there because I am experiencing postpartum depression. But that's another story for another day. I don't want to talk about it. I really don't. Okay? So, Yes, y'all, we're going to keep this on a positive note because I do want to get this video out for y'all because it's been forever, okay? So, I did put clips in at the beginning to show y'all what I was able to capture and, you know, her coming out, but um, that was all I could get. Um, my boyfriend, like, we really wasn't thinking about grab the camera, like, no, like, it was real life, like, and two, I had to go in early, and I told her that on my last video the reason i had to go in early is because i have i had something called cholestasis of pregnancy um if i can't i'm gonna put up what that is 
but basically um it dealt with my gallbladder and stuff like that and um reasons to why i had i was itching so bad like y'all y'all don't even know like it was to the point where i couldn't sleep like so it caused me to itch was which was her telling me she was ready to come out like it had a lot this a lot of stuff going on you get what i'm saying so because of because of that i had to get induced at 37 weeks because if she would have went any longer she basically it could cause the baby to come out stillborn if you don't know what stillborn is that means that baby you'll have the baby she might not come out alive you get what i'm saying so they had to get her out at 37 weeks i couldn't go to my full due date which was september 18th um mind you i had my my baby shower when did i have my baby shower i had it in august that's all that matters but i went in august 28th i can't remember what date my own baby shower was but yeah, I had to go in. My induction was August 28th. She came August 29th. Okay, so y'all, y'all don't understand. I want her to come in September. I don't know why. I just want her to come in September. Cause I, I don't know. Like, I don't know why. I just, I don't know. September people are cool. Like, I don't know. But my baby's still a Virgo. Okay, so yeah. Um, So let me get into this little story so I can, you know, since y'all couldn't get everything, I'm going to tell y'all what happened. So, boom. Um... Like I said, my induction was August 28th. I had to go in at 4 o'clock. But, however, they didn't have, like, rooms, you know, ready and stuff like that. So, I had to wait a little while. I had to wait till they called me back to come in saying I had a room. So, boom, boom, boom. I think it was, like, 7 when they called me and told me, like, it's a room ready. So, boom, boom, boom. We get there. Had to do the basic sign up. Boom, boom, boom. So, once we got there, they took me back first because they had to, you know, do the questions and stuff that they really don't want to ask in front of people. You get what I'm saying? So, my boyfriend had to wait outside. My mama, she was on the way. Because my hospital, I was at, they did allow two people to be in the room. So, um, after all that happened, they, they finally let my boyfriend come back and they let my mom come in. So, um, y'all, they had, first they had to put the IV in my arm. Boom. But the nurse, I had, y'all, like... She tried to put the IV in my left arm because I told her, she she asked me what was my dominant hand. I told her it's my right one. So she tried to put it in my left. She couldn't find a vein. So she was like really just poking me around, y'all. Like it was like spots like poking me. Like she was trying to find it, but she could only try two times. So after that, she couldn't get it. So she had to get another nurse. She came, did my right arm, got it right in. Mind y'all, my arm was sore. Like IVs, like them needles are long and it's not small. So it's just like, bruh, like. So, boom, unsuccessful, then we got success, okay? So, my boyfriend, he was getting mad because with that needle, like I said, it was kind of big, so it was making me bleed, like, and he was just looking at her like, you don't know what you're doing? Like, because it was like blood just coming, like, you know what I'm saying? So, and then she's poking in my veins, like, you know what I'm saying? So, he already getting irritated, you know what I'm saying? So, boom, 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 fast forward, they got the ID in, they started talking to me about what's going to happen, what they're going to do, boom, boom, boom. So, it was like 11 o'clock at night was when they started my induction um what they did with me was the peel and the shoelace so it's like a peel that's on the shoelace and they put the peel behind your cervix to thin it up so you can start dilating my job when i went in i was not dilated at all so once they um before she put it in though when she did check she said i was one centimeter i think but yeah she put it in y'all so basically once she put that peel in it went quick. Like, I started feeling contractions. Like, not strong contractions, but I started feeling period pain. Like, like I was uncomfortable. Like, how I usually feel when I'm on my cycle. So, I'm like, okay, yeah, they finna come. They finna come. But mind you, she was saying I was contracting them before then. And I was like, I don't feel it. Like, she was like, yeah, you having contractions. But I'm like, baby, I don't feel these contractions. Like, I was like, normal, y'all. Like, the whole time. So, once they put that in, they, I started to feel it, y'all. I did. So, mind y'all. They had to put monitors on me because they had to monitor the baby and me. So, um, while they was monitoring me, my monitors kept moving because I had to flip and turn. I was getting uncomfortable all day. And my, it was making me itch because they put the way the fabric was on the, the bands and they had to put that gel on me. It made me itch. And I already told y'all with the closest of pregnancy, like anything can make me itch. You know what I'm saying? So, I was uncomfortable, y'all. So, my job, they checking her. She was at a steady rate. She was all of that. But then, um, eventually her heart rate did start to go up. It was like 165, but that's something they have to watch. Like, even though it wasn't that hot, that's when they consider it hot. So they had to start monitoring and looking at her. And they were trying to see if it was me causing it, but I wasn't causing it. Nothing was wrong. So, um, 
They then had to say, like, you know, they had to check her for that afterwards to see why her heart rate was up because it could be an infection, all that, y'all. But I'm getting to that later. So, um, after that, when they did it, um, it was like, like, I think around like three in the morning, I had to go to the restroom and then my midwife came in. So I went to the restroom. My job, that, like, not the epidural, but the, um, contractions and stuff and what I was going through, it was making me shake, y'all. Like, it was making me shake. I, the cold air hit different. Like, I was shaking, y'all. Even when I went to the bathroom, like, shaking, like, trying to get to the bed. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, boom, 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 she came in and, you know, they were trying to, convinced me to get epidural and mind you I told you I wanted to go natural so nobody could convince me at the time to get no epidural because it wasn't hurting so why am I getting epidural you know what I'm saying so I'm like no I'm not I'm good like I'm good I'm gonna do this like I'm gonna do it so my job I'm going in it but I did tell her like can you check it because they didn't they didn't want to check my cervix a lot because my dad they had to put their fingers in to check if your cervix had dilated so they didn't want to keep poking me because I'm I was induced so they didn't think I was going to be dilating fast Mind y'all, they knew I was contracting fast, though. So, I told the lady, I was like, yeah, can you just check me? So, mind y'all, she checked me. And I was already three centimeters dilated. And they wasn't expecting that. Like, they was like, oh, like, you don't even need this no more. Like, you're you're dilated. So, I was three centimeters dilated at, like, three o'clock. And they was like, you're going fast. Like, my contractions was fast. Like, dilating fast, everything. So, mind y'all, they wasn't supposed to take that pill out until 10 o'clock in the morning. They took it out 3 o'clock because I was dilating, like, fast. So, she was like, okay, well, I'm going to come back at 6 o'clock and see where you at. And my job, like, through that whole time, it was uncomfortable. I, I was tossing to my boyfriend, just telling me, go to sleep. Just try to sleep. I could not sleep. Like, I would go to sleep, but I would wake right back up. Like, it was like, no. So, boom, 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 going through that all night. So, y'all, um, eventually, it was around, like, it started to get a little, like, 5, I think. And the contraction was kind of getting a little worse. So when my nurse came back in, I was asking her, like, do I have something else besides epidural that I can take? You know what I'm saying? And she was like, yeah, we have this other medicine, but your body will get adapted to it. So the first time, you might it's going to feel good. But the second and third time, it's not going to feel like nothing. Like, you're not going to really feel it. So I said, okay, just give it to me. Like, just give it to me, y'all. I tell y'all, when they put that check in my IV, that stuff felt good. I was like on cloud. Now, like, that drug right there. I don't know what that was, but baby, that thing made me go to sleep. Like, as soon as they put that in, y'all, I didn't talk. I start, like, just dozing off. Like, I was gone, y'all. So, boom, they gave me that. And I went to sleep for, like, a couple of minutes. I don't think it was, like, no hours. I, I went to sleep for a couple of minutes. I woke back up. I was going to ask again, but they was like, you know, it's not going to be strong again. So, I'm just like, bro. Like, okay, then, don't even give it to me. So, I'm going to eat this up. I kid y'all not. Like, minutes after that I felt like a big it felt like a kick but when I had to think about it I'm like her feet is up so she couldn't kick because it was like down like by my um probably it was something like she couldn't have kicked me down there because her legs are up her head was down so I'm like her head must have dropped you know so I, I don't think I dropped yet because I still had three more weeks to go so I think her head had dropped y'all and I felt it like that thing was like ooh I kid y'all not water started gushing out and I start my contractions, baby. Them things like seconds apart. Like, I, I'm not exaggerating, y'all. Like, my junk was like back to back. And I felt it at this point. Like, I knew they were coming. So, at that point, it's just coming, coming. And I'm crying to my boyfriend. Like, oh, my God. Like, it's coming, it's coming. Like, he was saying, like, hit me, bite me. I don't care. You can't hurt me. Like, just do whatever you have to do. So, y'all, I'm trying to take it. I'm trying to take it. Mind y'all, now at this point, I'm worried about me. And the doctors are telling me, like, it's okay. Like, you don't have to, like, you can get up a girl. Like, you're not going to be a failure. Like, it's okay. Like, we know you want to do it, but you, like, I was induced. And they were telling me because they had to make my body do something that wasn't natural, it's going to be worse. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, they're telling me, like, it's okay. Like, you're very strong. Like, you went long enough. And mind you, at this point, I was 7 centimeters, seven centimeters dilated at this point. So, they tell me, like, yes, you're, you're dilating fast. Like, it's okay, it's okay. And, like, I'm crying because at this point, not even, I'm not even crying about the pain. I'm crying because I don't want this epidural. I done hurt so much stuff. I don't want to be paralyzed. I didn't want my back to be hurting for years. Like, y'all, I was crying. You get what I'm saying? Like, because I did not want it. But I'm like, I had to, like, at this point, like, the pain was just too bad. Like, I couldn't keep going with it. So, y'all, it took, I think because I was in pain, it seemed like they were taking forever. I'm like, okay, now, nah, I done said I want this epidural, and now y'all take it forever. 
You get what I'm saying? So, I job. And at this point, I was scared because, like, my contractions was coming fat, like, back to back to back to back. So, I thought one of the contractions was going to come while they was putting it in my back. And I thought I was going to move and I was going to be paralyzed. So, I'm sitting here telling these folks when the contraction comes. I'm like, don't put it in when I'm having a contraction. So, I'm telling them right before you were about to put it in, one came. I said, oh, no, it's coming. It's coming. So, boom. As soon as it stopped, they put the epidural in my back. Boom. They didn't have a high dose in because my legs did not go completely numb. Like, my, um... My abdomen is like down there. It's like no, but my feet is still. I can still wiggle them. Like it was nothing. I didn't feel paralyzed. Like I didn't feel like my whole body was gone. So that was something like good. But other than that, yes, y'all give me an epidural. I kid y'all not. After they gave me an epidural, it was like five. I had five more contractions. One, it was like okay, I felt it, but I can kind of feel it's going numb. The 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 two after that one, it was just pressure. It was it was pressure. Y'all, the lady, she went to give me a ball to put in between my legs. So, my legs can be up. I felt pressure again, but it was strong. Like, and to myself, I'm just thinking, like, oh, my God, what is this her head pushing out? Just trying to, like, just thinking stuff in my head. But the pressure was strong, and I kind of felt like her head was coming out. So, I'm just like, okay. But I didn't say nothing. I was just like, it's just pressure. Because that's what people always say when we got a epidural. It's pressure. I felt that drunk again. The pressure came again, y'all. And I kid y'all not, something slippery came out. And I'm telling you, folks, I just felt something come out. Like, and I'm trying to get the covers off me because at this point, I'm scared. Like, I don't know what that is. I ain't never felt this in my life. You know what I'm saying? So, it was an older nurse. Like, she was like an older lady. And she was like, um, oh, my God, it's her head. Like, her head just came out. So, my mama and my boyfriend turned quick. Like, and my boyfriend got my phone out fast because I don't even know how he captured it, how fast she came out, baby. But they turned, he got the phone out, like, and that's me, I gonna see when she came out, like, all in my stuff. So, I had to, uh, blur it out, okay? But, yeah, y'all, like, her head popped out. I did not get to push. I didn't get to do none of that. Like, her head popped out. And that's when everybody, like, start rushing me in. Like, oh, my God, like, we were just gonna come in and deliver you. Like, we were all getting ready. Like, people was, like, we were legit getting ready to come, um, get her out. And, uh, man, I came, she's like, you're the first person that I haven't delivered in this hospital, like, I need to deliver everybody, like, and it's the first person, like, I have not had, you know, the first person I missed, like, you get what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, baby, she was ready to come out. I, I don't know. Like, my baby said, y'all gonna, y'all want me to come? So, I'm gonna come. Like, that's what I'm gonna do. So, the spotlight was on her, y'all. Like, I baby came. She wasn't playing with them, like, and I feel like if I did not get that epidural, if I would've held out, like, a couple of minutes, y'all, my baby would've came out. You get what I'm saying? Like, and I could've had a whole natural birth. <sighs> I was like, I know you lying. Like, I know you lying, y'all. And I cried when she came out. Like, it was just so, like, unreal. Like, I seen her, and I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I finally see my child. And it was just like, oh, my God, y'all. Like, the best feeling in the world. Like, the best feeling. Like, I don't see how people say they don't want kids. Like, that is the best feeling in the world. Like, that just made me cry. Like, and I was just like, dang. So, Mind y'all, I had told y'all, they heard, after she came out, they just pour her out, start cleaning her up. I feel like they were being so rough, like, you know, trying to get that stuff off of there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, but other than that, they took her over, cleaned her up, stuff like that. But due to her heart rate being up, they had to, you know, see what that was about. So they had to take some blood, stuff like that, you know, keep IV in her and give her antibodies because as a baby, they don't have um, an immune system. Like, they can't really, if they do have an infection, they can't fight it off because they don't have nothing that's helping them fight it off. So they had to get an antibody so they so she could fight it off if she did have an infection. But she didn't have one. So that was good. But um other than that, um that's how my li my delivery went. Like it went by fast, y'all. Like really fast. Like even to this day I'd be looking at her and I'd be like, you really came out of me like Really, because I didn't push, I can't really think about it. So it's like, dang, like you just came out. Like I just it go like it went by so fast, y'all. But yes, y'all. Her name is Arielle Azuri Freeman. And I love my baby. Like, she is so precious. She's such a sweet baby. Like, such a sweet. She only whines when she's hungry and when we put her down. Other than that, my baby does not cry. Um, she doesn't throw fits. If my baby don't want something, she's gonna let you know she doesn't want it. Like, with her past fire, if she doesn't want it, she's gonna push it out of her mouth. If um she doesn't want it. She's going to shoot it out of her mouth. Like, she's going to tell you, I don't want it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And she does this when she's hungry. Like, if she's hungry, she does this or she'll try to, like, get to my breast. You know what I'm saying? Um, I am breastfeeding, but I'm also bottle feeding. So, she's getting both because I'm not producing a lot. So, which my, what the doctor said is normal. 
which, you know, I want people to know it's normal if you don't produce a lot of milk. Like, it's okay. Like, you know, if a girl's saying this and you're not, just either supplement it with form, like supplement with formula. It's okay. Um, and that's what I do. And she's just fine. My baby is good. You know what I'm saying? She's getting so chunky. Her looks changed every day. Like, I tell y'all, when you have a newborn, like, they grow so fast. Like, baby, I have pictures and looking at her now, oh my God, my baby boy girl girl my baby cannot light y'all my baby light she has a dimple on her right side um uh, my baby was just red y'all she she when she was upset like why she just turned so red i used to be like oh my god my baby's so red but it's okay y'all um if you look at her if you know what's like if she's by me you can kind of see it but she kind of look like her dad now like it's like mm, the faces like the faces she made like everything like she's like her dad like for real, and I was thinking about doing a video like boyfriends had, but then I'm like, people are weird. So, I, I really don't know about that, but I might, and then that's, you know, but if not, I might just show a picture, you know, but yeah, she's like her dad, y'all, like, but if she comes by me, some people say, like, she like me, but yes, y'all, like, I'm, the reason I haven't been posting is because I've been trying to enjoy her, um, I've actually been going through a lot, so it's just like, I'm not going to get on here and fake anything. Like, and it took me a lot to even make this video. You get what I'm saying? But I know I had to get this out for y'all because I've been gone for a long time and I don't like that. You get what I'm saying? But I do want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to me, who've been still, like, watching my videos. Like, thank y'all. I hit 100 subscribers, y'all. And I was just like, girl, you did it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, I tell y'all, I've never seen it. Like, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Like, I don't. But I did it, y'all. And I want to thank everybody who subscribed to me and who watched my videos. Like, Thank y'all because without y'all, I would not have those. Like, none of this. You get grateful for y'all's support. Like, for real. So, yeah, y'all. Um, my baby's getting big every day. Um, y'all gonna come on this journey with me as a mother. Like, everything. Um, nothing else has been happening besides, like, my mental state. But other than that, um, I kind of been breaking out. <laughs> breaking out. On my own little side, as y'all can, y'all can probably see. But y'all gonna come on with that journey with my skincare, cause like I'm about to get this off my face. Okay, so yes, y'all, my hair grew a lot. I know y'all might be like, girl, where? But I'm gonna show y'all. Like my hair grew a lot when I do my little update and showing y'all everything in my stomach, all that. I'm gonna show y'all. Like my hair grew a lot. I might come in here, like get on the video as like a like a wild lion, cause my hair is gonna be out. Okay, so yes, y'all. Um. It is so great. Like, being a mom is so great. I don't, you know, some days I have my moments, but other than that, it's like, she makes me happy. Like, she makes me smile. If I get down, I just come around her and lay with her, and I feel better. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, she wasn't going to be in this video, but she didn't want me to put her down. And she's asleep, but I couldn't put her down, y'all. And I was just like, okay, you're going to be in this video, okay? So, yes, y'all. I hope y'all just bear with me. I hope y'all didn't leave me like that, but... I'm back, y'all. I promise after this video, you're going to get right. I'm going to get cute. I'm going to give y'all all the videos. I was going to do Vlogtober, but it was last minute. And I'm like, I'm not going to put that pressure on myself. And it was just so much. So I'm just like, I'm going to just do Vlogmas for y'all. I'm going to do that for y'all. I'm going to give y'all a little time. Let me get some video ideas. And I'm going to give y'all that. Um, and yeah. But I'm still give y'all good videos. I'm still going to give y'all all the videos. Get back on my schedule. Um, and Yeah. Um, I hope y'all just stay tuned, okay, because there's so much coming. Um, and yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I hope y'all, I gave y'all enough information, but yeah, it's so much. And one day, y'all, eventually I will talk about what I'm going through, like my postpartum depression and stuff like that, because, you know, it's nothing wrong with it, and I don't want people to feel like, you know, you have to hide it, because that's how I was, like, at the beginning, like, in denial. But it's okay, and I will, like, you know, talk, because, you know, when you're younger, you're prone to get it, because you have so much, you're not even, half the time, you're not where you want to be, you know what I'm saying? So, it's okay, I will talk about it when I'm ready to talk about it, and when I feel like I'm over it, and I've got through it, because I can't tell you something if I haven't got through it, you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, y'all, um, it took a lot for me to make this video, but I'm here, I hope y'all like it, I might drop it tonight. Because I was planning on dropping it tomorrow, but just depending on what time it is, I don't know. But, yeah, y'all. Um, yeah, just stay tuned. I'm coming with so much more. Um, and if I don't post y'all, just know. It's because I'm, I am got to get my mental straight first, okay? But, yeah. Um, once again, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And your girl will be back with more videos, of course.